Well, when I graduated from Purdue, about the next day the Korean War started, and so uh, we never, and Farber, my brother, got called back in the Korean War, so we are gone another two years. So my brother and I took over in 53, and uh, it was a good experience. I remember we were all set to open, and we didn't have any money in the cash register, and so my brother and I just took $50 out of our pocket and we put it in, and uh, started our business again. I remember one night, we close up in the store after everyone was left and gone, and uh, we'd start moving fixtures around. And I remember one night, it was late, like one o'clock, and we were moving a fixture of colognes and things, and the bottom fell out, and so we had colognes all over. So I sat down to call Bernita, because she wondered probably why I wasn't home. And Aunt Bernice was uh, uh, a operator for the telephone company, but at that time, at night, they went to bed because really going to call anybody. So I was calling Ber Bernita and my Aunt Bernice finally came on the phone and said, why don't you go home so I can go back to bed and so, but that was small town. And I would, like the fire whistle would blow, I would call Aunt Bernice and say, where's the fire? You know, she'd tell you where it was. But it was so much fun growing up.